Hi everybody, Nick Wisman here with Wiseman's Weekend Wellness Tip. This weekend I wanted to talk to you about fertility treatments and helping out infertility, um, but also more broadly, just hormone health in general. Because I end up treating a lot of uh, infertility issues, and more broadly I end up dealing with a lot of hormone issues. You know, everything from, you know, thyroid stuff to diabetes to, you know, adrenal fatigue. Whatever it may be, we deal with hormones a lot. And generally when we're talking about hormonal health, there's, there's really just kind of a broad thing that I can recommend that everybody does. But first off, um, in order to understand the hormone system, there's a really important thing that you must understand first. And that's everything in the hormonal system or the endocrine system, if we're talking you know, scientific terms, everything's connected very closely. Every organ involved in the endocrine system affects the other, and all these hormones really affect the other, and some of them really are made from the other one too. So it, if you're gonna really regulate hormones and help fertility and these things overall, you need to work with all of these systems and all of these organs at the same time. And that's why Western medicine isn't always as good at treating some of this because usually they're giving you know one or two hormones just to try and affect you know this one chemical at that level, when this isn't really helping the functionality of the whole hormonal axis is what we call this. So one of these axes, for example, in dealing with fertility, is um, you know starts at the hypothalamus and the pituitary in the brain. And that's where a lot of these hormones really start. The regulation starts, the production starts. And then from there, it affects, you know, more of our specific reproductive hormonal organs, you know, the ovaries and the testes, the uterus, these kind of things. Also, the adrenal glands are um, ha produce some reproductive hormones too. Most people don't realize that with it too. So really, you're dealing with this whole axis from the brain to the ovaries and the adrenal glands and all of these at the same time. And if you're not dealing with the functionality of all of these at the same time, it's going to be really hard um, to fully affect, you know, fertility in these ways. So, you know, this is something that we have to do in the hormonal system. And the other really important thing to understand with all of this is the hormonal system happens in cycles. These are, you know, circadian rhythms. These are monthly rhythms. There's all these consistent, repeatable cycles that must be occurring for the hormonal system to operate efficiently and correctly. And really it's interesting because in holistic medicine, you know, we look towards nature as an example of how the body is supposed to function and how we're supposed to heal the body too. And there's perfect examples in nature for these cycles. You know, the sun goes up every day and then goes down every day. This is the regular cycle every day over and over and over again. You know, seasonal cycles where we have, you know, cold times of the year, and warm times of the year, wet times of the year, dry times of the year, times of the year where things are growing, times of the year when they're going more dormant with that. You know, nature works in consistent, repeatable cycles. That's how it works best. That's how it's always worked best. And this is still true with our body, especially the hormonal system in our body. So when we're treating, you know, the hormonal system, this is what we're dealing with, is these cycles of the body. So that's a question I've gotten a lot, you know, these past couple of weeks is, you know, how does acupuncture affect my hormones and help me, you know, get pregnant when it comes to fertility? Well, what we're really doing is pulling out all of the tools in our tool bag to work with these cycles in, our, in your body that are supposed to be happening regularly and rhythmically with this. You know, this is using acupuncture, using herbs, using supplements, using nutrition, using just lifestyle advice. Because always our body is supposed to be, you know, sleeping when we're supposed to be sleeping, energized when we're supposed to be energized during the day. You know, we're supposed to be eating at kind of regular times. We're supposed to be digesting efficiently, you know, after we eat this food at kind of regular times. We're supposed to be, you know, stressed when we need to adapt to change, when stuff that's challenging in our life is happening. We need to be stressed, that's okay. But we also need to be calm when we're in our comfort zone, when we're able to be calm and relaxed. All of these cycles need to be happening regularly, repeatedly, and efficiently for there to be a healthy hormonal health in your body as well. So that's a lot of what anybody can do to help their hormonal system, but also what we do more specifically when people have problems in these kind of regular cycles of their life. So if you have a sleep issue, you know, let's fix your sleep issue. And a lot of times that's gonna go a long ways to help so helping the hormonal issue. You know, if you have digestive problems and aren't eating regularly, if you're stressed all the time, you know, and it's messing with this regular cycles of, you know, cortisol and stress hormones and um, it's insulin and all of these things, all these hormones in our body, 
if your irregular cycles are really affecting these, then it's also going to affect you know your fertility and your reproductive hormones in the body as well. So that really is the secret to helping your you know whole, whole hormonal system, but fertility more specifically as well. So, you know, if this is something that you need help with, then definitely go seek treatment. You know, share this video with people who could, you know, benefit from this. And if they're in this area, come seek us for treatment, please, because we can help with this all the time. But, you know, on your own, this is still something that you can work on. This is still something that you can do and regulate a little bit on your own. Because it's pretty common that I hear from people, oh, you know, I was stressed and just out of my mind and then I stopped caring and then all of a sudden I got pregnant that's because you automatically kind of helped your cycles of hormones within your body and you helped regulate these rhythms in your body. So that's your tip for this weekend. You know, if you want healthy hormonal health, whether this is thyroid, whether you're dealing with menopause, whether, you know, whatever it is, adrenal fatigue, you know, the best way to get on top of this is to regulate the regular circadian rhythms in your body. And if you need help with that, please seek some treatment for that. So. Hope you benefit from this. Share this with anyone who can help. We'll see you guys next weekend. Thanks.